What's up, YouTubers? Carbide97 back with another video review. Today, we're taking a look at... Oh, no. Don't fret. It's not just another tablet, iPad mini review. It's something better. It's a little bit more informative. I know there are so many iPad mini reviews out there. I'm not going to add to the pile. I got one. I love it. You do your own judgment. Here's a case... It's called Impact Gel. I picked this up from Walmart. It's nice. That's enough about that. All right, the real review about this, for this, uh, uh, the purpose of this review, my goodness, it's so uh, dirty. No, this is for a retailer on eBay, and I'm gonna have the link down below in the description, or maybe over here or both, um, they're called Gazelle, and this is really more about their rating system. I picked this thing up, the iPad mini that is, like I said, I got the case from Walmart, for just right at $400. This is the 64 gigabyte version with retina display, set that aside, okay? And their condition said good, which is, I think, three stars or four stars. You'd have to look at their rating system. I'm pretty sure it's three. So I thought, all right, I'll take a chance. If it turns out that it's in bad condition, I can always turn around and sell it back. Well, as it turns out, their standards are way higher than mine. I mean, I look at this thing, I haven't found a single scratch on the screen. I have found a couple of very small imperfections along the bezel, along the side. Most of what you see here, like this, that's just dirt. That's from me. That's not from them. I mean, you can see how just about immaculate this thing really is. I mean, considering what this thing retails for, and the battery is just as good. The only complaint that I can find, the only hiccup or imperfection, and that's just reflection right there, um, is that the home button is just a little bit harder to push than what I would prefer. Um, but it's definitely not a deal breaker, especially when you consider you know, the, the gestures and things that you have. I mean, even the logo, was scratchless. I, I mean, there's this one spot, right? Let's see if I can... Right there? Yeah, it's dirt. I thought it was a scratch, but it's not. There's not a single scratch on this thing. And their description said it'll have normal wear and tear. So, this is just really a review of their rating system. And this is all... That's just from my fingerprints and from the case. You know how those cases leave those smudge marks or well they don't and they clean them off I'm not sure which it is but anyway as you can see um, if you get onto their site and you find an electronic device that you like a phone a tablet what have you and the system says good man I would say pick it up because you can get a killer deal on one of these I mean I wasn't able to find one of these a 64 gigabyte I wasn't able to find one for under $450 on eBay going for auction, and those were in worse condition. And they didn't include anything. This one came with, well, I guess it just came with this, but I mean, come on, a lightning connector. They're so cheap now. You can pick one up from like the Dollar General for, what, $5? So anyway, that's my review of the Gazelle, or Gazelle Inc., or the Gazelle Compagnie, what have you. Anyway, I have also picked up a Galaxy S4 that's in what they consider to be fair condition, and I'm going to be taking a look at that also a little bit further down the road. Um, so anyway, if you dig this off-the-wall review, or if you like Transformers, please subscribe to my channel. There's going to be more coming in, so subscribe, like, share, and uh, we'll see you around the tubosphere. Carbide says, peace out.